Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. So I just uploaded a video. It was the second to last video. I needed to catch up on Amber. This is the most recent video of hers. I'm going to be all caught up after this one. We're going to go straight to her channel. I know I hate it, but I want to watch the whole thing and then I'll be all caught up. Um, I did just hear a little bit of Monty's live stream. Oh my God. Like I said in my last video, that whole shit show that is Chantal's life. She's apparently a new woman. She has a new personality this, this afternoon because this was from this afternoon that they were reacting to. I enjoy his panel. I, I'm not real familiar with the people he has on. I've not been to their channels yet. But um, apparently a lot of these people have been watching Chantel for a really long time, like the rest of us. Um, Chantel's familiar with them because she hates them all. Uh, I'm not familiar with them, but um, nonetheless, I do like hearing their perspective. And they seem like a good group of people. So, anyways, okay, so we're going to open this up. I think, yes, I'm going to sound like Amber right now. I think I finally figured out the freaking lighting. I think. Although, I'm going to work on getting it slightly better because the left side of my face looks really dark. but And it looks like I have a black eye, but I really don't. Okay, anyways, so, like I said, we're going to go and react to Amber. This is her most recent upload. Um, prediction, it'll be boring as fuck. That's okay. I still want to watch it. It is 28 minutes and 54 seconds. Living with lymphedema, come shopping with me, and obsessed with food. We know all these things. Um, this is episode four. And why the hell hasn't she gone to the doctor yet for this lymphedema? Uh, okay, whatever. All right. No tiny sweater. Awesome. Stupid choker. Whatever. Looking like shit again. What else? Okay. I'm probably going to speed her up. You know what? Fuck it. Let's speed her up now because we already know she speaks so slow. And that's going to irritate myself. So here we go. Hello. So welcome to episode four. Not in a good mood right off the jump because I did my way in. Isn't it right off the bat? I was expecting to be down because if you guys remember in yesterday's. Wait, what? Why would you be down? You had spam. You ordered KFC twice in the last two days. And that's, oh, and then you ordered Jason's Deli also. Um, and that's only the food you showed us. So there was not a single vegetable in sight. So, okay. This episode, I was trying really hard not to binge. And I did not cave. I did not order the McDonald's, even though I wanted the chicken nuggets. I Well, that's good. Now, I know she talks about this BED a lot. I don't know what it's like to binge. Um, I don't think I've ever binged unless I was probably really freaking hammered and I was coming home from like a friend's or something and I just eat everything that's not nailed down to the floor. I don't know if that's considered a binge. I don't know. Um, I don't have a compulsion, so I don't think it's considered a binge. Nonetheless, um, I'm tired of fucking hearing about it only because she does absolutely nothing about it. She wants to just, in my opinion, reserve the right to bitch about it. Um, we already know that I do not believe for one second that there is a therapist. And and if there is a fake therapist, um, I think she does the absolute bare minimum. And it's probably through Zoom or something. And I just, well, I don't believe that there's a therapist. So let's just move along. Yeah. stayed within calories but i was still up 0.2 and i know a lot of people would tell me in this case we'll stop weighing yourself daily if you can't handle fluctuations you're probably right but i'm not gonna stop weighing i don't know about the weight weighing yourself thing either because i don't know i've never been to a specialist or whatever so i don't know what they say about that nonetheless it bothers her and i think in my opinion she keeps doing it, even though people, and I've read the comments, there are some people who have said in her comments, you know, I actually do suffer from BED. I mean, we don't know if these things are true or not, but let's just say they're true for some of them. 
And they do tell her, you know, you need to stop weighing yourself daily. I believe she will continue to do it because it gives her the perfect excuse to go on a binge or to why she gets off course or whatever. It just, she always allows herself with all these conditions and ailments she claims she has, all these disorders, she always allows herself a little extra room. I hope I'm explaining this right. A little extra room so she can always have something to fall back on as an excuse of why she failed at said whatever, challenge or diet or whatever it is, challenge, you know, whatever. Um, and that's just my opinion, but I feel like she does this and she's done it for years and years and years and years. All right, shut up, Andrea. In myself daily. I don't know, I'm just a little frustrated. Let me just say, I did mention in my last video that my family and I did do, uh, we started our challenge, our Biggest Loser Challenge, and we all had to weigh in. And my sister took everybody's weigh in, wrote it down, whatever. I told her, I don't want to know how much I weigh, and she's not to ever tell me or show anybody else. And when I weigh in again in six weeks, I don't want to know. Whenever I'm at the doctor, I don't let them tell me. I don't let the nurse tell me. I have her just take it, do her thing with it. I have no clue what I weigh. I would probably cry. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what the obsession with needing to know your weight. I mean, we're fat, so. With this weigh-in, it has put me in a bad mood. So. Perfect excuse. I need to learn how to fluctuate. Um without feeling this way. I mean, I can understand feeling this way if I was up like a pound, you know, but I'm only up 0.2, but it's more than that. Like I was looking forward to like losing weight. And it's like, not only did I not lose today, but I also gained. I mean, I don't get this thought process. You could take a dump in the morning and be down 0.2. What's the whole point of even weighing? I don't get it. I just, I don't get you, Amber. The 0.2, whatever. So I, I hate that joker. I. I'm about to have my first meal. Again with the right hand. Why, baby Jesus, does she have to do this? I don't want to see your wonky tooth. I just feel like keeping it simple because I'm just, I don't know, like I said, not in it to win it today. So I'm just going to have. When the fuck are you? When have you ever been in it to win it? Never once ever. Never ever. My God. I have a cup of noodle. Wow. Lighting. Hold on. That's a little better. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Just shut up, Andrea. Keep going. It's because there's a literal light right above us right there. A literal light. Literal. I'm just gonna have a cup of noodle, which is 290 calories. Um, I also woke up with some tooth pain because sometimes I clench my teeth in my sleep. Does anyone else do that? Oh God, here we go. Another ailment. Our pantry is. Fucking disgusting, which I don't understand because you two don't do shit all day long. Disgusting, it's a mess. That house should be immaculate. It is a mess, but yeah. Then again, I don't think she even washes her ass. So what am I talking about? So this is what I'm having, 290 calories. I'll see you guys later. Hey, <laughs> and I hope I'm in a better mood. So I forgot to say my actual weight. It was 484.8. Well, yesterday I was 484.6. Okay, so I'm currently just doing laundry. Uh, it's been a little bit since I talked to you guys. And I kind of feel better about my weight. So, um. It's been a minute since you talked to us. You still haven't showered. You still have that raggedy ass hair and those clothes. Uh huh. Fluctuations are gonna happen. And I just know that if I just, you guys are literally sitting on clean sheets right now, by the way. I know that if I just keep staying on track, then the. What about this is on track? Okay, whatever. Shut up. The only thing that can happen is weight loss. So, yeah. I don't know. I was just expecting to lose weight, so I think that's what made me like. Is that the tur? What is she doing? Sad. So this is just detergent, and then I put some softener. That's fucking dumb. 
Why would you put it in a pump dispenser? That's fucking dumb. It's not hand soap. Whatever. Which I need to put more in here. And then in this cute little container, just take some of these. Oh my God, this smells so good. So good. that's a large load a large load but yeah i'm feeling better about oh almost just fell on camera i am feeling better about my weigh-in we should be so lucky so i do weigh-ins and they don't make me happy i like binge that day but you know what nope that ain't happening because i feel the progress i see the progress and i don't want to ruin the progress <laughs> so yeah okay so next meal we ordered from this place called Jason's Deli. I got chili and these blue chips with salsa. It is honestly so freaking delicious. Um, I will post the calories because I'm trying, like, because I know I'm going to eat takeout and I'm going to stop. So I'm so confused. Is this again? Am I having deja vu again? Or did she have Jason's Deli recently? Also, whatever. Oh. What I'm trying to do is order from places that um, like have their calories like already on the menu so I don't have to like sit there and like guess or anything like that. So yeah, I honestly love Jason's Deli. I've just never had their chili before. So we're gonna do a taste test. And yes, I'm wearing something different because I actually just got out of the shower. All right. Yeah, I think the chili is 350 and then the chips is 210, but with the salsa, the salsa Where's the fucking vegetable? Where's the fruit? Where's the salad, maybe? Also adds 40 more calories. Okay, let's do a taste test. Jason Deli is also great because their cups are reusable, so I reuse them for like a week now that I have an ice tray. So yeah, it feels like I'm getting a fountain okay don't know how to talk feels like i'm getting a fountain drink without actually having to pay for the fountain drink because i'm reusing it anyways all right let's go oh she's good you want to try it, babe this is like a um for me a solid 10 out of 10 she's so punchable no i don't want to try it this is this one my girlfriend got so good no one gives a flying fuck not one person. Sandwich. What's on it? I don't remember. I see turkey. I see pepper avocado. Jack. Pepper jack. You have like the littlest nibble. Just taste it. It's going to be like a 10 calorie bite. No, no, no. It's going to be a 5 calorie bite. Mmm. Something that's not good. It is good. Okay, no. Oh, shut the fuck up, Jade. Ooh, shut up. Try my chili. <laughs> Okay, if I had to rate yours though, I'd give it like an eight. We missed the punchline. What happened? Maybe a seven. Wow. Ready? Be honest. It's don't. It doesn't matter. We don't care. Good. Not better than your chili though. Oh my god! Why does everyone love my chili? You guys. What? Who loves your chili? You know six people. Two cats and a dog. We've already established this. Who the fuck likes your chili? Who's everyone? Oh, man. We need to have a meet and greet, and I'll make the chili. I'll supply the chili. You guys supply the drinks. <laughs> B O, wait, B Y O D. Bring your own drinks. No, dumbass. No, don't. I'm just kidding. I would supply everything, but um, yeah. Wow, this baby. But what would you rate this? Zero through ten. Okay, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Why the fuck do they need to rate their food? This is so stupid. Do you guys have Jason's Deli where you live, or is this like no? Shut up, Amber. Um, just around where I'm from. I don't know. You. Bomb. And I also. No one says that anymore. Love these chips because. They're kind of thick. I don't know how to explain it. Just so good. And they're salt. You just did, you moron. They're thick. This is amazing. So we're going to go watch 90 Day Fiance. And Still no salad, no vegetable in sight. Not a one. Now we'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, guys. Look at this. 
Look at this sweet thing right here. I'm about to take over her cat condo and I'm gonna put my little tripod on there because we are about to do a torrid moment. So we're running low on this bag, but I'm sure it's gonna be ugly. Don't you worry. It's gonna be Amish looking or like old lady looking or something. There's another bag. Ooh, okay, so. The picture is still not up. What the fuck? Size four means it is a dress. She's a little wrinkly because she's been in the package for. She is a shirt, so shut up. That sounds so stupid. Literally ever. And that's ugly. Ever. Literally ugly. Oh my God. But let's try her on. Woo. All right, guys. Here she is. Does she have pockets? No. I love the buttons. I think it's super cute. <laughs> are my boobs too big? No. Okay. My boobs are actually kind of small for my body type in my opinion so this is how it looks i am <laughs> the pants do not go with this at all these are just oh. like my comfy pants that i wear around the house oh my god okay i'm not gonna say anything just keep going. it definitely goes better with the shirt that i am wearing today would never wear these two things together that'd be hit of fine but okay so it does fit me good i would have to wear a cardigan because my bra does show in the back don't like that at all it's lightweight you would wear a cardigan because you could see your bra, but you're fine with showing your arms. I don't get that. Um, these cute little ties on top. I actually really, really like that. I think that's super cute. I really, I really, really, really hate it. I will give this a a negative ten. Seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. I mean, it's cute. I don't know. I might be rating it a little low just because I don't like. That might look cute on my four-year-old niece, maybe, but she doesn't weigh 600 pounds, so... And I'm sure somebody would iron it first. That thing is not cute. Like, my pants with it, so I'm not getting, like... And those pants, what the fuck? The full effect. Okay, nope. As I was editing this, I absolutely hate it. I give it a negative 2 out of 10. This is a no for me. Okay, so we're actually about to go on a ride. And I think we like to go on, like car rides we might actually go okay just my advice i understand that you know you're on your journey or whatever the fuck you're doing um why wouldn't you go on a walk you bitch when it's too cold to go outside to walk you bitch when it's too hot to go out to walk so this is later in the evening the sun is down go for a walk no you're gonna go in the car which means that uh, your next weigh-in, you're going to blame the car ride because you're lymphedema and you're retaining weight in your legs. We already know the drill, you dingbat. Shopping or something. I don't even know. But I don't want to change my pants because you won't catch me dead. You won't catch me dead wearing these pants in public. Like, I Amber, I'm not being a bitch, but no one's going to be looking at your pants. They're going to be looking at you. Absolutely not. Not happening over here. I'm just gonna wear a pair of black pants. I have so many. Um, for those wondering, I am a 4X and pants. Hello, blurry moment. Cool, love that. God, she's so annoying. There we go. I gotta admit, I'm like really hungry right now. But I'm probably just going to wait to eat until we what get we home because I'm in a bingy mood again. Ugh, I hate it. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait to eat until... What is a bingy mood? I don't know what that is. I mean, just hungry? I don't know. Well, that comes over me, so then I don't binge. Okay, I got to go find my flats. Okay, so I have a story time for you guys. There is a spider oh my god okay well she looks like shit but um i promise this is gonna be dumb i'm sure her stories are so dumb by our outside door i hate spiders but my girlfriend has adopted it as her child or something and it's just like hanging chilling in a spider web and you guys remember yesterday when i thought a spider like was killing me because i had that you know that's so weird because something bit me i don't know if you can see something bit me and it's like Huge, humongous. 
but I'm not anxious about it. I'm not nervous. That bite on my wrist, by the way, is so much better. Although I don't know what the hell bit me. No. Um. Because I haven't gone outside, so what the fuck? So I was saying yesterday, I was like, oh my god, what, like if that spider came in the house, da da. She goes, no, Henry said. What, what is this new thing? Da 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 da. I hate it. It's outside. Oh, she named the spider Henry. I. It was so funny, like when she said that, because. No, Amber, it was not funny. No, no, no. Put your seatbelt on. We're just dropping off the garbage real quick uh, before we head to the store. But um, it was honestly so funny. Like, it was like you should have been there type of thing. Does she chew on her wart? What? Why does she keep putting that, her warty finger by her mouth? Moment because like, I didn't. You know those warts can, I, I'm almost positive that they're, that you can get them if you put them by your, I guess it depends on the kind of wart. Shut up, Andrea. No, she named the spider. I don't even think she knew she named the spider. <laughs> she goes, oh no, Henry stays on side. Oh my god, it was actually hilarious. But yeah, we're just uh It absolutely was not funny. Dropping off some trash. How many bags is there? Just one. Oh, okay. We have trash ballet, but sometimes we just take the trash ourselves. So yeah. Anyways, Henry the spider. How to type. You see how she says we? We Okay, Amber. About it. We have arrived to Meyer. This is actually the Meyer I used to go to back in like 2017. So if you guys have watched those vlogs, wait, no, 2016. Whenever I was with Destiny. Stop acting like you don't know. <laughs> this is literally the only grocery store sushi I will eat. Is that Myers? So I'm. Damn it! Now I want sushi, and that's not sushi. Those are rolls, by the way. I ain't get me one or two. So I was over here looking at the baby bell, but then I saw this. It's fresh mozzarella snacking cheese. We all know what that shit is. You don't have to describe it. We leave our houses. So definitely gonna get that. I'll do like a little haul towards the end, but so far we just have sushi, salads, cucumbers. It's a little uh, fresh mozzarella snacking cheese. Oh wait, then I don't need this. Oh, why don't you want to get that? Because I only use like two packs. Oh, okay. I don't need to open this whole thing. But yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's like a rumor that I use a scooter. I don't. I actually have not used a scooter in a store in over a year. A rumor? It wasn't a rumor. You used them. We saw you. You haven't done it since you've been with Jade because you're embarrassed. Here, it's something. It's not a rumor, dumbass. I'm very, very proud of. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually over here with the nuts because I am a nut. So, um, ooh. I'm really trying not to be so mean. I really am. Oh, wait, sriracha almonds. Wait. I've never been so excited about food the way that this girl gets it's a fucking almond i was meant to be over here i'm so getting these baby i found sriracha almonds wait that sounds gross i can't imagine the amount of sodium that's in them but she's baffled why she's not losing more weight gross? no 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 i'm getting them okay so we found Ugh, punchable found a dangerous situation over here lemon cream almonds um i am tempted walk your ass or waddle your ass to the produce section and go get some vegetables to snack on or fruit why are you in the snack section s'more bites what what the heck is a small oh oh no chocolate vanilla do you hear the fucking joy in her voice oh my god sea salt caramels 11 pieces for 140 calories tempting very tempting what did you get babe oh let me go see let me see <laughs> so we're just getting like because we like to snack but we don't want anything like no way we never would have guessed too unhealthy so plantains you know dried apple you have a whole ass cart a whole ass cart full of snacks i don't see any vegetables stuff like that i want to see what she chose oh, oh oh she got the i do see salad okay all right what else something ranch rock and ranch 
peanuts, Cajun something, sriracha something. Milk chocolate, vanilla, sea salt caramels, the dark chocolate, blueberries, and milk chocolate, sea salt caramel. Raisins. I think that's good. I, oh my god, lemon shortbread bites? Wait, I want that. She's trolling. She has to be trolling. I want that one. <laughs> that wasn't funny, dumbass. How many calories first? For six. Does it matter? Amber. He says is 150 calories. That's worth it. Worth it to me. Oh, okay, so I'm trying to. I think I saw cucumbers in there. Woohoo. Find some ankle socks because I want to start wearing my tennis shoes more. And look at what I found. So, I'm not going to get them. <laughs> Sriracha socks. We have fruity pebbles. We have Pringles. You can tell I'm hungry. And you know what? Oh, there's a person. <laughs> you can tell I'm hungry because I can't stop talking about food. God, where are Oh, that wonky tooth. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, we got strawberries, cupcake, or ice cream. That's not what I want, though. But um, what I was trying to say is, when you're on a diet, you're on a diet. You're gonna lose weight. You are gonna. There's gonna be times where you're hungry. You have to learn how to live with the discomfort. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You have to sit with the discomfort. And that is what I'm doing. I think that's the reason why I needed to get out of the house. <laughs> Fruit of the loom socks. Don't rub. She needs to not rub that wart all over herself. Ew. I like black socks. Ankle socks. Because I have lymphedema. Um, oh wait, this will be good. These? Is that why she put lymphedema in her title? Because she said the word lymphedema? What? Yeah. Wait, there's like 10 minutes left, so maybe she talks about it later on. I don't know. <gasps> Avocados. Pandas. Why does this broad act so brand new? Like, <gasps> like she never saw fucking ankle socks a day in her life. Okay. My girlfriend's probably like, where the hell did she go? <laughs> she fucking ran away. I'm wondering the same about her. Where is she? Oh my god, I hate when I get lost in the store by myself. Oh my god, I have something mean to say, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. Boxers with Doritos. This bitch. And Cheetos. I'm dead. Where the hell? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna fucking throw up. Keep the camera still. I got my socks. Oh, what are all these? Wait, what is this? Oh my god, it's not food. Just keep going. <gasps> Boxers of cereals. We have corn. Don't eat it. Flakes, fruity pebbles. Wait, what is this? It's a cup of noodle. Boxers. Wow, they don't make girl underwear like that. Okay, so I got a notebook. We got this for the office. It's a chalkboard, but with like calendars um, and a lot of other random stuff. I got my sock. Is that baby food or pudding? That's baby food. Why do they have baby food? And those are containers for- Is this what people were talking about on Twitter? I think this is what people were talking about. Some weird shit with like, some fetish nonsense with these two. Well, whatever. To each his own, I guess. Ugh. Or uh, our desk area, we have like these. What would you call it? Cabinets? Drawers. <laughs> so yeah. Now that wasn't funny. Now we're about to go check out. Okay. So the last thing I'm getting is this probiotic gummy by Ollie. I have the needing to take one, so might as well start now. Okay. What do you do all day, Amber? Okay. So. Next meal, it's 750 calories. It is couscous. 700. Where's the vegetable? Where's the fruit? Where's the side salad? Where is something other than a fucking plate full of carbs? 50 calories. Is, is it, it worth, worth it? it? 
To you, yes, because you are the world's laziest human being. Yes. Yes, because I'm obsessed with it. But it does it does seem like a lot of calories. I know. Um, if I didn't add butter to it, it would only be 600. She looks terrible. But I do add some butter because it says to do it in the instructions. I've never done it any other way from what I can remember. So I'm going to eat. From your remembrance? God, she looks like shit. Um, I still am baffled at the fact that she does not have a side salad. I don't know. Steam a freaking vegetable. Roast a vegetable. Or make one of your half-assed salads. Come on. Eat this, and I will catch up with you guys later because I think we're going to do a taste test of a couple things that we got from Myers. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Oh, her with her chewing. So we are going to try a bunch of random snacks, but it's only going to be one piece of everything. And then obviously I'll calculate all the calories and I will let you guys know. But I don't give a shit about the calories. Came out to right here for the snacks that I try. No one believes that, Amber. Amber Lane, what are editing? Do not forget. Milk chocolate, sea salt caramel raisins. Oh, shut the fuck up, Jade. Okay. Milk chocolate. Ready? Sea salt caramel raisins, yeah. Uh, again, I am convinced that this fucking dingbat is on edibles. She's so weird. I could bathe in it. That's an elevated milk bed. <laughs> I just want you to bathe. Just bathe. I don't give a shit what it's in. Just bathe. Milk dud. Okay, so raisin it. Raisin it. Raisin it. Raisin it. Yes, milk duds are good. Do you like those? This is a milk dud and a raisin it mixed together. Kind of is. Zero through ten. Give it a nine, nine. So this is the one we just tried. Now we're about to try milk, chocolate, vanilla, sea salt, caramel. Now that is what I'm talking about. Just cute little <laughs> circles. All right. We were just talking about milk duds. This, is, milk this is a soft vanilla milk dud. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you taste the vanilla? I do, but it reminds me of like a malted vanilla. Oh, okay. What would you give that one out of 10? Is that multi milkable? Who fucking cares? Okay, I can't be watching this shit. Just fucking talking to that dingbat over there. Oh my god, how long does this go on? Oh my god. Jesus. She's not like bossy mean. I'm a grown ass adult, but like if I really, 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 truly want. Are you really? When I would. But it's moments like that where it's more so just like, oh, I want another one where she helps me. So thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. These are dark chocolate blueberries. I don't really like dark chocolate. Oh, and they're purple, Still? but I like dark chocolate blueberry things. So, wait, why would that be good with vanilla ice cream? Zero through ten for you. I give it a seven. This is their life. This is their life. Sitting there, fucking talking about snacks. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward to how many? Okay, whatever. You. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing? Lemon square. What is a lemon square? Lemon bar? Like Amber, quit. You know what the fuck a lemon square is. You know. Lemon square? Oh, I don't know if I've ever had one. I'm gonna make one. Okay. Ready? Don't make her a lemon square! Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Um, she's trolling. I can take down a whole bag of those. That one's my favorite. Like you can't even rate it out of ten because. It's Why don't you just put the camera down, talk to your stupid girlfriend, and end the vlog? It's like too good to rate. I'm still drinking out of my drink familiar. Wow, I also got water coming in clutch. So I'm gonna give that a hundred out of ten. What about you, babe? I'll give it a nine and a half. Nine and a half. So what, what was your favorite? Sriracha. Ten out of ten. The sriracha almonds. Ironic. But yeah, you... I know. Uh, I'm dead. That wasn't funny. That was not funny. We have very different... A very different sense of humor. Okay, so I just sat here. We both did. Um, and we did it separately to figure out who was accurate. Because figuring out the calories per one piece of each thing is very interesting. So how I did it was super simple. I just took the calories, 160, divided it by how many pieces were a serving, and... We're not morons. We know how to do that. 
and then I got an answer. So I did all that with all of them. And then I added all that up and I got 76. We're going to round up though to 80. So for one piece of each thing I just tried was only 80 calories. I love that. That was like pretty low calorie for a little snack moment, right? It was fun. I enjoyed it. I just felt like explaining that to you guys because I'm sure you guys see it. Our idea of fun is very different. And the 80 calories pop up on the screen would be like, ma'am, what? How? So that's how. I'm currently getting ready for bed. So tired. Um, Dude, this is sped up. What the hell? Um, calories for today, 1,711. So that's really good. Um, stayed within my range. The only thing that I feel like I should have done better on was bathing. Take a shower. You look like shit. I needed more water today. Like, my lymphedema. There's a lot of water in the shower. Take a bath. You'll feel so much better. It's swelling. Um, it's super. Ah, she did mention the lymphedema again. Okay. We're super swollen from the car ride, from. What did I say? Uh, walking in the store. It's just like, you know, if you don't have knowledge about lymphedema, definitely do your research if you're into. I don't, but you don't go to the doctor either, so neither do you. Interested. It's very interesting. It's unfortunate that I have it because, because it, it honestly gets in the way of life. Uh, nope, it's the perfect excuse to not do shit for you. You love it. Um, I've actually had a lot of people, like, if I still have the screenshot, I'll post it here. Um, uh, this person was just like, why does she look, you know, smaller up top? Like, she's still the same weight. Like, I don't get it. But, like, her bottom half is still, like, huge. Da -da -da. I am holding. Da -da -da. a lot of weight in my legs um my lymphedema makes my legs a lot heavier than what my legs were say back five years ago so up top does look a little smaller while the bottom it does i'll give her that bottom is bigger because of my lymphedema um <sighs> really oh my god that's awful i would never wear shorts and i love wearing shorts Lymphedema is not curable. I have been, I don't know if I told you guys, but I have been referred to a lymphedema doctor and a physical therapist for my lymphedema. Okay, when? When is this imaginary appointment? So that is in the works currently. So it's like an oh, that's code for, I haven't done shit about it. I've gotten a referral. I just, I'm not going to do shit about it. That's what that's code for. Stay on that. But because she's the world's laziest human being. But um, yeah, I'm going to end. Is this episode four of five? Oh my god. You ding bat. Yes. I'm pretty sure. So tomorrow will be episode five. I'm hoping for a weight loss, but at this point I'm not so sure based on how swollen I am. Um, I definitely could have done better in the eating department as well when it comes to quality because, yeah, uh, had some sodium today for sure. So anyways, I'm going to go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello, so welcome to- God dang it, why do I always do that? Wow, that sucked. But, like I said, I wanted to watch it anyway. Um, I'm going to see, I think I have a little bit of free time after I upload this. I'm crossing my fingers that nobody comes and bugs me. Um, and I'm going to go check in and see what's going on in Chantopolis. If it's not too fucking annoying, I will do a react to it. Until then, bye guys.